Oh, oh, <laughs> well, well, this makes ogres interesting, doesn't it? Like my ogres were always down TV. His ogres are up TV. gives him a, gives him a bit of a chance. <laughs> it's, it's, it's VIP, Mister Yamanda. All right, he's kept a minus minus AV ogre. Obviously, I'm getting a wizard. Um, he's got a brave tackle one. He's got his strength six one. He's got a guard one. No skills on the noblars is a good. Good call. Two re rolls. Two zero one. Good record. Yamandem. Yamandem. <laughs> it sounds like some kind of uh some kind of British rapper, doesn't it? Um they did fix the dodge break tackle interaction, yes, that you can make break tackle entirely optional now. So yes, they have they have fixed that. This is actually tough for orcs, to be fair. Okay, not really tough, but you know what I mean. It's um it can be tough for orcs. Because You know, they can't escape the ogres, can they? Elves can just run away from the ogres, Amazons can just run away from the ogres. But the orcs do. It's why the orcs suffer the worst against claw, isn't it? They can't, they can't get away from the fucking hits. So <laughs> it's not good being this much TV down. It's not the worst possible matchup, obviously. But for the if we were equal TV, he would have zero rerolls, or he would only have five ogres. So. Um. I think people should should go for the zero reroll Olga start. Um but maybe maybe most people don't, but um I would. It's hard to hit him though, isn't it? I mean the plus strength is good defensively, it is hard to hit him. Yeah, maybe I should have kicked. Maybe I should have kicked, actually. I received just to so I could beat him up. Because I don't want to get beaten up by Ogres. Um, but actually, I guess I should have, um, I should have actually kicked. Blitz him. It's actually, it's actually pretty good, isn't it, with a garden strength six on the LOS? Blitz this one and get the assists there. And then don't touch these two. So he goes in there. Well, the guard could go in there. And then he goes around, he goes around, he blitzes him. And then he can block him. Hmm. Oh, there's no apple. Sweet. Acceptable. Yeah. 
<laughs> even picked up the ball. Outrageous. Right, I'll take that. I'll take that as a turn one. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Who needs sure hands? Who needs sure hands? That was a hell of a turn one. They're just horrible because they can, they can do stuff, can't they, with Mighty Blow? They can... They can fuck up your day, Ogres. Like, as bad as they are, you know you're almost certainly going to win against them. But they can fuck up your day. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the wizard. Maybe I should have just gone extra apple. I did Clapman TV. I know it was potato. But, you know, they're all orc throwers now. <laughs> We're all orc throwers now. <laughs> yeah, two heavy nine armor breaks, one Vena removal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Win, but with how many standing? Yeah, exactly. I should have. I probably should have gone for the uh, the extra apo. To be honest. Yeah, because you you just can't stop them two dicing, even black orcs. They two dice whoever they want, and they've got mighty blow, and it's uh, yeah, it's not easy, is it? Right. So he could just block him with an assist. Pretty good having a guard for this game. Can't see anybody. There isn't anybody behind there. So I've got three guys in there. I just got a guard. One dice with him. Blitz with him. And then two dice him. I guess that's it, isn't it? He's got a He has to two dice him. But I don't hit with Mighty Blow, which is awful. But what can you do? Oh god. Oh my god. But throat cutter. Is that is that a default name? Oh he's armor eight. Holy shit, if that had been Mighty Blow he'd have been cast. Where's the break? Tackle him. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. Crazy lucky so far.
Oh man, how bad? How bad does the Norwegian Joy feel getting pushed back by a snotling? There's things that can happen here, isn't there? Um, first thing, oh god, it's a GFI. Hmm. He can block him. No way! Oh shit. That's an annoying uh, non-knockdown, to be honest. Could mighty blow him, and then uphill him? I don't want to uphill him. One, two, three, four, five. He could get in there, but these have got a GFI to get around here. Two GFIs to two dice him. Doesn't seem worth it when I could just one dice him. For less effort. I should have to play this in free free cam. There is a little shit around there. Ah, I'm already base one. Okay. That's minus two D. Got a reroll for it. He's got a block anyway though, so it's not so important, is it? Right. Get in the habit of going free cam against against ogres no hammer break what the fuck <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not like great master hammer break hammer break ko ko no i'm written on lockdown disappointing but it was it was annoying because he um he's a badass isn't he is there a hot key what what is said hotkey, please? While yes, you can hit the snotlings with uh, mighty blow for free star player points. If you don't knock down the ogres, the ogres can hit you, and if the ogres hit you, then your free star player points don't look so snazzy as all of your guys die. So. <laughs> I was going to throw a snotling. He's going to fumble it though, isn't he? He's got three tackle zones. Snotling didn't even die. What the fuck? How did the Snotling not even die? Right, this is a huge turn because obviously I want to surf this break tackle guy, don't I? That is. 
That is the key thing, surfing this break tackle guy. Black Orc can make the blitz. He can pow him. If there isn't two players there. No, there's only one. So he can pow him. He can push him. And then he can surf. So... Not three star player points. Three, four, blah. maybe I could do it with him. He's three, four, five, six. He can block and get them there, and then he can only go there. Could he make this block anyway? Which then, yeah, he can make this block anyway. He obviously goes there. Doesn't matter though. Right, I've got to do a minus 2D with a the ball then. Let's block the route for him going. Oh, that was a really bad block. Oh, I just got a one dice then. No serve. Fucked it up, didn't I? Fucked it up. If I hadn't done that block, I needed I needed him to minus two dice and then him to move there. I didn't need to do that block. I thought I couldn't um I thought I could avoid it. Gave up a surf there, could have surfed him. Idiotic. Idiotic non surf then. Um, right, he's gonna have to stand here. He can't stand up. Yep, yeah, that was idiotic. Idiotic of me. But then, you know, my, the minus two was risky, obviously. But the payoff was potentially massive, wasn't it? If I hadn't, if he just hadn't been there. It was minus two. If I get the push the first time. I guess if I got the ball down, though, you would have taken the ball down and then it, my ball carrier would have been based. So, and being based by an ogre is no joke. So I guess maybe it was, maybe I did the right thing, actually, just blitzing, to be honest. Maybe I was being too greedy going for the, uh, Uphill surfer. I li I like the ogres for the uh, for the challenge, you know. <laughs> and you you get to, you do get to use big fucking ogres, don't you? Yeah, some people enjoy breads for fuck's sake. Yeah, they they're not like an, they're not like a bash team. Yeah, they're like ogre they're like goblins or halflings. Yeah. I guess I don't take any chances this this with this ball basing. I could just bolt him even. Perfect, base, base, base. This won't fail. <laughs> I'm on the right. Boop, 
Peace, peace, peace. Yeah, look, basing with a fucking strength five break tackle ogre is a bit different to basing a pro elf with a random dude, isn't it? Wow. Can't expect Harp to Snotlings to fail dodges ever, can you? Yeah, that was good. That was good getting that sorted. Um, I still get a two dice in though, don't I? Because this count cancels the assist from him. He goes in for the guard. He makes the blitz. The blots. Now oh, we're away. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I thought that was that was the ball. <laughs> All right. Uh, one, two. So he wants to be here. I guess I should have one diced him. Oh no, I can't. I can block him now though with a uh, four re rolls. I guess I should just do gain skills for this game. <laughs> you could do it, not that it's a good idea. Yeah, it could do a lot of things. The uh, reroll bonehead, then, yeah. That's a, that's a bold statement, Fluffy Burrito. I would say Wood Elves are the best team in the game when dice go their way. <laughs> I mean, everything's got the same, the same potential, hasn't it? I guess Skaven, actually, Skaven. Skaven, because Skaven have Claw Pom in one turn. I mean, not all all teams can do well if they uh, if they. Uh, I'm not saving a reroll. I mean, it was just there was no reason that, to greed it, was there? It achieved what I wanted, which was get pushing him away. Um, I didn't want to risk him going down and freeing him, freeing up his strength six guy. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough, Shatter Dice. Fair enough. But if the dice go Wood Elves' way, they get four removals on turn one, and they're still a Wood Elf team. <laughs> so, but yeah, I guess fair enough. You've got a bomber. People could set up in a block of nine. Your bomb could kill nine people. So you could just pitch clear somebody turn one with goblins. Possible. Possible that you could just kill everybody in your in the opposing team and turn one with goblins. That is possible. However, it's unlikely, to say the least. Right, now I think the Ogres aren't such a threat on the offence to the offensive drive. So now I can start to try to base up Snots and punish the Snotlings a little bit. That's safe, so if it's a push, which it obviously is, he's still all right. He wants to base him. 
Hup, hup, base, base, base. Bang down. Yeah, I couldn't re-roll it because I've got to hit the ogre later, right? I would. I'd, he was in the way of the of this blitzer moving to here. If he wasn't in the way of the blitzer, I would have re-rolled. Like you know, I would have done the blitzer afterwards and had the re-roll for it. But I had to be able to re-roll the hit on the uh, on the ogre if it was a failure. Well, I think I had to be able to. Just can't let him get an assist, kind of. It was the crucial thing. Don't want him to be able to block the other Olga free. <laughs> yeah, to me the dice roll going your way is getting some pals and not rolling double skull. Oh, they've all hit the shot and it's killing everybody in with every hit, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> it is VIP Mr. Yemendam, which means sometimes in German, I believe. VIP. Yeah, I didn't really want to follow with the uh, blitzer, but I thought it was worth it. To be fair, Orc Lyman are the best people to mark Ogres with, aren't they? So there is that. Although you don't, your positionals getting creamed by ogres. Um, or linos are the absolute best. Right. Just blitz with him, eh? He's got block and mighty blow. Hey! Something happened. Oh man, this uh, free cam is a bit, bit annoying. Yeah, it's my guy behind him, not not a snotling. Thought there was a snotling behind him. I was like, fuck, but it wasn't. It's <laughs> hoping you turn into boots. That's like the first armor break from an ogre, I think. 
on turn seven after I just fucking KO'd two and stunned them multiple times. So yeah, I, I certainly can't complain about my luck this game. So far. There you go. <laughs> hey, right on cue. Right on cue. I can't complain about my luck. Dead. <laughs> can't make it up, can you? <laughs> Fuck about. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one snotling left. I'd rather mighty blow this guy than um than care about him. Rerolling a double skull, I can't. I can't even do it. As much as I'd love to reroll that seventy-five percent knockdown, I'll save all my four rerolls for the second half. <laughs> there is when you're watching games on Awful Fibrio, but I didn't know if there was one when you were actually playing. <laughs> Only one ogre up so far. And I've saved I saved that as 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 three, didn't it? And it said, Do you want to overwrite? And I said yes. And I haven't changed the roster at all. Yet here we are with um with an unsaved setup. What a surprise. I really wish they'd fix the bug of the setups. Like, it shouldn't be that hard to just be able to fucking save your setups, should it? Oh, I've got to do a, I've got to do an anti. Uh... Anti goblin setup. Snotling, anti snotling setup. Hmm. Being be be minus one of the landings better than more tackles also dodge through, seeing as they dodge on twos anyway. Jimmy, how about a stunty exhibition match against Shawnee? <laughs> Maybe Tony. <laughs> that time, that dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Two vampire, two vampires getting killed was rough, wasn't it? I think this is probably better for the landing. Oh man, Tony, okay then. I guess we've got to play now, then, eh? Bribery always works. Oh, there's a blots. Oh, it's already perfect. That is simply not true. The beta does not support your assertion. <laughs> yeah, Shawnee. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dog. <laughs> Maybe I should have spaced the LOS, but the blitz I couldn't fix it with a blitz cutter, so But throat cutter is that is that a default name? They look like default names, the others. So it seems that default name is Butt Throat Cutter, which is, which is a pretty funny name. Oh, the kick was perfect, so no touchdown. Good.
can't risk a foul. Don't think. Maybe can. All right, he's gonna. I guess he'll expect one of these to come back at least. It was like five assist foul, I guess you had to make it. Apple gone. Scary times. Ogre's back. So he's got the full, full ogres. Eleven versus ten. Not good. Yeah, exactly. Apple gun six mighty bro on the enemy team. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Mr. Yemond. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Ogres have got nothing to lose, have they? If if you lose, you expect to, so it's not a big deal. But with or orcs losing to ogres would be uh, would be horrific. But I guess now it's hard for me to lose. I guess they could kill everybody and score early, but still. I don't have a clun I don't know what a clunge is, Braumeister. Yeah, the apple was a good was a good apple. Saving an orc blitzer from death is a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Rashi. It is hard though. It is, it's just true, isn't it? It's hard to lose now. You would have to score quickly and then turn us over and score again, so And now I know that I can wizard if I get the wizard in a turnover, I can just score and go 2 0 up and win, can't I? So. <gasps> Mr. Yemendam. VIP, Mr. Yamandam. Look at the misplay. Glorious. Yes, Gary. Boneheads. <laughs> he just knew Nobles are better than Nobles. <laughs> That's why I don't like the strength so much, because you think you're going to get a three dice, but then you fucking fuckhead ogre goes bonehead and you don't get your third dice. So, and plus block would have been a knockdown there. Isn't it? I, I think block, block would have been a decent shout. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm pretty, I, I would, I'm going to go out and say that was a misplay. I'm confident he didn't want to leave out his ogre. Yeah, six strength could, yeah, break tackle, strength six is pretty good. I 
five plus pickup. Now I could think about going for the three dice and these guys every turn. That'd be a GFI. So not yet. Get the canoring threat in. Base him. Base, base, base. Oh, that's only one. Of course, he's strength six. That's why I needed the guard. I remember now. Fuck, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind re rolling this. <laughs> but, uh,. Must remain disciplined. Ogres are not the same as human teams. They are 10k more expensive. Unfortunately. Fucking hell, no apple. Phew. I didn't have block. If it had block, I would have been more tempted to base it. But base it, greed it. Obsessed by basing the ball. It's exclamation point, herp derp, harashia. I guess it should be base as well, though. Herp derp, base, base, base. <laughs> herp derp, base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Oh, it's just horrible, isn't it? Having to set them up to get knocked down by Mighty Blow over and over again. Fuck. I t and I tell you what I don't like it, but I tell you another good reason why I like the six ogre no reroll start. I'll tell you. I'll give you a good a good reason why I don't why I like the zero reroll start for ogres. What the fuck do you reroll? <laughs> because. If you fucking roll a one on your bonehead and you re-roll that, then you're just left open to whatever you roll afterwards. And it's just horrible. Like I just, They're fucking so unreliable, I think you might as well just embrace the unreliableness and uh, start with zero re-rolls. Like, I didn't know whether to re-roll that just then, but with, with, gob with snotlings, it's fucking really hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ducky. Good, good luck them even happening with <laughs> with ogres. Ooh, I just, I just bought down him. Oh, that wasn't the mighty blow guy. <gasps> oh, herp, herp, herp. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That was poor. That was poor, wasn't it? Oh god, why was that? Oh, there was a fucking snotling! There was a snotling there, I didn't even see him. I'm just I'm just playing shit now, aren't I? My rolling can't save me anymore. Right, go on, there you go. Fucking punch a line hook. Blitz without the blitzer. Oh 
fuck. No, Shawnee, no! Ah, fucking bastard. Of course he's dead. Of course he's fucking dead. Just because I fucking fucked up. Who knows what I'd have done if I'd known that was the mighty blow guy. Yeah, exactly. If the dice roll well, you're more likely to lose to a 6 fam team than a 2 fam team, certainly. Oh, God. Like, I guess Ogres are a bit of an anti-fun team because they almost can't win, but they can certainly kaz your fucking guys, can't they? And they can absolutely kaz your guys. Or oh, two dices with a snotling. How embarrassing for that black, that blitzer. Kind of tempted to uh, fireball four snotlings Do it, just do it. Um, bolting the ogre could be a possibility. Nah, I'll just let him punch him. He can go in there. He can blitz one of them. See what happens. Fireballing four would be fun, or even these three. But there's just no need for it. I haven't really got a recovery on this turn. Fuck, I used the block one, eh? Right, safe moves. Safe moves second. Next turn, wizard, probably. <laughs> God, thank God he had block. Oh shit, he's got break tackle. <gasps> oh fuck. It's never all good. Where's the where's the ball gonna go? Oh, he didn't didn't scatter it. I think I would have gone for a scatter there just for the chance of a free uh, free pickup. Oh man, one dice! Fucking got him. One dice by a snotling. Imagine that. Right now the fireball is hitting uh is is looking better, isn't it? And if he knocks over that that guy, it's even better. It's at least two snotlings and an ogre. Oh 
shit, it's gonna foul. Fuck. It's actually a pretty good foul as well. That was interesting, wasn't it? Um, I could fireball these three. It's a shame that I, I'm. It's a shame that I can't fireball both ogres. Oh yeah, two ogre, three snot. No, there's not a two ogres option. One ogre and three snotlings is the way. Is the way forward. No, there wasn't. It would have hit one of my guys. Just hit my own guy. <laughs> I'm not going to hit my own guy. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to hit my own guy. Come on, man. I know Sean, he's a mad cunt. But uh, I'm not going to do that. All stunned. It was a pretty good wizard in the end, wasn't it? Hell of a wizard, in fact. Oh god, I can't. I can't use this free cam. Holy shit! You would have hit your own guy. Jim Greed fireballs a lot? Not really. Not really. <laughs> oh, glad did not matter. His guard wall mattered. He had guard. Now he's dead. Oh, 50-50 dodge. Really feeling the old penis. <laughs> well... No fast, because it doesn't prove anything. You would have to get the clips of every single time I'd used a wizard, and then see how many were greeds. And I'd, I'd wager there wouldn't be that many. Alright, what's this then? Need two guys there. But in every circumstance had I already won. Because that does influence my decision a lot. <laughs> when it comes to... Uh, 
when it comes to fireballing. I'll fireball if I feel I've already won. And in this case, I thought, you know, I was about to get six dice with block. Nine dice with block on the ball I was getting. Um, I don't know what the odds of that is, but it's odds I liked. No, I had the blitz though, Fash. He was based, so it was a, it was a, it was three dice on him with block, and then six dice on him with block. Yeah, they're not greedy though. I'm not. Yeah, it's not greedy. Like greedy is. I don't know. Yeah, nine dice. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Nine dice. I had nine dice with block. On the ball. It's pretty good odds. Yeah, it's still greedy. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But saying that I'm often greedy is different. Because greedy, it's only greedy if it's got consequences in it. I don't know. Fuck it, I don't care. I don't want to fucking argue about it. I just don't give a fuck. I would say greedy. It would... Oh, fucking hell. I don't know if you heard that. But... <laughs> but, um... Greedy implies... Risky with bad consequences if it fails. You know, there wasn't, to me, it's not so greedy if the consequences, if there's no consequences, not really greedy. So there you go. Well, no, it's not just fash, is it? Because somebody could be watching on YouTube and taking him seri seriously. That's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> Jim Fat, Oh, you did hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's block this little shit. With mighty blow. Can't block that one because he could sidestep here. So. Um, that's a one and now, isn't it? He'll go there just to. Just in case it's a fail. Yeah, but to me, the Viper, greedy implies, you know, taking more risk for more reward is, is how I view greedy in Blood Bowl, right? So, if there's no risk, then it's not greedy. And to me, the games where I've, the, 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 the games where I've fireballed, I've essentially thought I've won. So, you know, there you go. So to me, they're not greedy. But if you want to call them greedy, you can call them greedy. The one against the one against the Proyles was a bit was a bit stupid. To be fair, I'll hold my hands up to that one. That was a bit that was a bit shit. The one against the Proyles that was a bit of a greedy shit one. I just disagreed with the fact that I'm doing it a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's pseudo now.
Yeah, it does look like a giant sombrero, doesn't it? I don't even. That's uh, yeah. I don't think it's a good one. <laughs> Ah, oh, flash. I recall fireballing against Pro Elves in a game that I thought I'd already won. Right. It's greedy. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're saying, Spawn of Cthulhu, but no, in Blood Bowl terms, in Blood Bowl terms, I call greedy taking more risk for more reward. That's my definition of it. I don't care what anybody else's definition of it is. My definition is more risk for more reward. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be great. Yeah, that would be great fast. To be fair, I do sometimes use a fireball because I have literally already won and I just do a spite fireball on the last turn. So that is true. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. GG VIP Mr. Yemen Dam <laughs> right. uh, Ah it's fouling. What a what a great way to treat your <laughs> to treat your six month sub and Patreon supporter <laughs> with a turn sixteen spy foul <laughs> on on one of his best players. On a hundred and forty K player on the worst team in the game. <laughs> I just couldn't. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. But I'm still. I'm still sad that the fucking guard wall died. Oh, Wem Dope gets a skill. Oh, and and Geg Odd is on his way to block. Maybe. <laughs> um, I was really lucky there. It was. That was. It wasn't even really a game, was it? Because I was just so lucky. Um, although I did take a death, which isn't so lucky, in terms of just actually winning the game, it was ridiculous, wasn't it, with the KOs and the stuns, it wasn't even, I mean, it was always going to be hard, Orcs against Orcs, but, um, yeah, that made it stupid, didn't it? Right, two vamps. Oh, he, he becomes the guard wall. Oh! Oh, and I'd like to give him. I'd like to give him mighty blow with him being on eight, but I just have to give him guard because the guard wall died. By guard wall. Oh shit! I try to do all caps, but obviously, <laughs> caps lock was engaged. Um, Wem dope. Another block, maybe. Two block black orcs. One a Kazarin MVP away. Um, obviously these guys just want to get the get the touchdowns to get guard a mighty blow up. I, I'm I'm never too fussed about skilling the black orcs early because I th I feel like you know I just it's so much easier to skill up the blitzers. I I tend to concentrate on the blitzers first. Um, so there you go, three and zero. Oh. GG. VIP Mr. Yemen Dem, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.